ladies and gentlemen. Okay guys, welcome to another video. I am going to be answering some questions that you guys wrote out today. We have Red Lobster. So let's open it. Hopefully, and make sure I get my order right. My man is gonna be walking in here any second. But we have crab legs. They gave me some butter, some rice and biscuits real simple mm -mm. no back up y'all see her little head my food no first question is what is your age i'm 24. y'all ask that a lot when i'm like um on live and stuff but birthday's in march so that is when i will be 25. But yeah, I'm still a little young. Mm. I love their um, crab legs. They're always super sweet. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, mm. What would you say you're most proud of and why? I think I'm most proud of um, mm, I feel like I've made a lot of accomplishments in the past two years but I think the biggest thing I'm proud of is um, leaving my teacher job even though that was very risky for me um, and I don't know, I mean, at the end of the day, leaving any job is a risk financially, but I'm proud of myself for saving up and um, preparing for that journey. I'm proud that I followed my heart and decided to take a leap of faith and um, be self-employed, so... Cause right now I am a full-time content creator. I do still tutor, but I'm just proud of myself for making that decision. Cause I know a lot of times when people feel like they're not meant to work a nine to five, they just do it just because they feel like they need to. And so, you know, just a message to anybody. Like if you're working very hard and you have business ideas that you want to like start up, but you're scared. You gotta make sure you have a backup plan, but you know, even though it was scary, like I took the risk and it's doing me well. I mean, I was able to get monetized on Instagram and TikTok. Next question is, if you could tell your younger self one thing, what would it be? If I could tell my younger self one thing, um, like it gets better. I feel like when you're in a dark place in life, it's very hard to see the bright light at the end of the tunnel. But I do feel like where I'm at right now, like 22 year old Sade prayed to be in this position. Even though things are hard, it does get better. Like after I graduated college, I was on the verge of almost being homeless for real. And so that time was a very super like dark place for me because um i didn't have a job um you know i had my degree but i didn't have a job yet and so i was living with my mother and we got into it and then you know things just kind of escalated from there but then by the grace of god and the universe i ended up getting a teacher job and i had the perfect salary where i could run around I run it around, had a roommate, and everything just kind of went up from there. Yeah. Mm. The next one is is six three, sexy to you. Bay, how tall are you? Five six. Okay. Five six is sexy to me. Hold on, y'all. 
I'm gonna crack me a couple more legs real quick. One thing about me, I know how to crack a crab leg real good. Hmm. Should men focus on being content creators or doing other manly things? I feel like a man should do whatever makes him happy. I feel like, <coughs> hold on. I feel like you should never let a stereotype determine like what you do in life. Um, but there's nothing I think men are supposed to do. I feel like do whatever makes you happy. Like, I don't know. Especially if you're not hurting nobody. I don't think there's a guideline on what you should be doing. At least when it comes to me, I'm never going to tell somebody what they should or shouldn't be doing, you know? Man, to take care of himself. So, like, the type of content creating when you're, like, taking care of yourself and stuff like that. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong being a content creator. Get your content creator bag. Ask me, do I make good money being a teacher? So I'm not a teacher right now anymore, but yeah, I did. Um, your first year of teaching, it depends if you have a master's degree. If you have just a bachelor's degree, they start you off at like 64,000. Um, if you have your master's, probably like 70,000. But I feel like first starting off straight out of college making that, that's a decent amount of money. If you ask me. I wasn't spoon fed as a kid. Um, you know how some people be like they didn't want for any, anything? I wanted for a lot. So, if I had the choice between a guy or a girl with money in an open relationship or a hardworking person that can't fully provide, which one would I choose? Well, one, I wouldn't be in a relationship with a woman. So, it would be a man. If I had to choose between being in an open relationship with somebody, um, but they had money versus somebody who can't fully provide, but it's not an open relationship, I'm gonna have to go with the person that can't fully provide. I, I, I couldn't be in an open relationship. That's not my speed. I would prefer to be with somebody who can't provide, but you can work your way up. I mean. If you work hard, you could end up getting where you want to be. So, I just feel like I'd rather go with that. I'm not being in an open relationship. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. What do you like in a man? Um, My man. But if I was to describe, like, characteristic-wise, characteristic somebody who is kind, somebody who is patient, Somebody who listens and pays attention to detail and remembers things about you, you know? Oops, somebody crying in the hallway. Financially, if they're on the same level as me, that's cool too. I prefer somebody who makes more than me. But, you know, financially stable. Somebody who doesn't have kids. Um, young. So, can't, you know, my man is two years older than me, so that's about probably the highest I'd go. Um, somebody who's charming, who smells good, cares about their hygiene, and uh, sense of, you know, connecting with your culture, wanting to study your culture and your history. Somebody who um, takes care of themselves too. Somebody who loves themselves, doesn't put me before themselves. So that could be um, what you eat, going to the gym, um, going to therapy if you need it, like whatever self-care looks like for you, meditating, I'm good. Are you, who, what are you attracted to more, men or women? Um, Definitely men. Um, I do find women attractive, but 
I wouldn't consider myself to be bisexual. I've never done anything with a woman, never kissed a woman, never dated a woman. Um, I never would. So, you know. But there are times I look at women and I'm like, I understand. I understand. Um, I have been attracted to a woman before in that way, but does that make you bad? I don't think that makes you bad. I feel like there's certain things I feel like a woman couldn't do for me that a man can. Me personally. Bye, y'all. See y'all in my next video.